It's spring sale time. It's finally the day, and it's amazing how much work has been done to get to this point. Kyle and Garth did an amazing job getting things ready. They've got so much stuff done around here. I just want to show you how incredible this place looks and how different it looks from before. <laughs> hey, Greg, what's your favorite part about spring sale? Seeing all the customers and all the enthusiastic hobbyists, just like I was, I would have loved something like this when I was a kid. And that's why I love to say I love my So, Greg, job. about an hour and a half ago, the line started. You want to go outside and see what the line looks like? There's, oh my God, people are going to be, people are going to be disappointed. We have nothing to sell. <laughs> We're sold out of everything. It's Brian with Team Aquascape. I'm here in our fish retailing house. Things are looking a little stark, a little different, but it's all because we're making some huge improvements back here. Being in charge of the retail store, and not really in charge, being a member of the retail store and collaborating with Andrew and Colleen and Greg and everybody else that likes to uh, work in this space. We knew we needed to do a couple other things and it was always a plan to do some big stuff in here and, and we found the perfect people to pull off our vision. I'm gonna introduce you to them in a second, but before I do, let me talk a little bit about what we're doing back in here. This is obviously our big Japanese koi pond over in this area here. We've got some amazing fish down in here. You're all familiar with the viewing window. There's a big butterfly koi there. If you come up here, you can really appreciate how nice some of these fish are. But this space over in here always felt kind of unfinished. And one of my big plans was always to take the wetland filter, which is along the back wall over here and actually have live plants growing out of there but to do that we need light and a little bit of light that comes up from those windows up there just isn't enough the other thing I wanted to do was kind of shrink down the ceiling height on this space and build a pergola so they're gonna come in the guys back over there are gonna come in Kyle and Garth and they're gonna build us a pergola that kind of comes up from here and here and spans all the way over to the wall over in here when that comes up and over it'll give me a structure to actually put grow lights down hanging into here and at some point we're also going to turn this area into an additional wetland filter and do grow lights down in there they're also going to kind of give update our coping all the way around they brought in some great reclaimed lumber they've kiln dried it it's all ready to go and so it's really going to change and transform the feeling in this space <laughs> the other thing they're doing is painting this wall I couldn't stand it so we used to have the black fabric all along here and the black fabric worked temporarily but now they're gonna come in and paint all of this so they're painting the poles they're painting the metal painting here painting up there and all the way around as we come into this space they're changing what's supporting popsicle the skink I don't see him out right now but he's in there someplace they're changing that they're changing this they're going to turn these into more shipping crates you know that's a fragile and some other stuff they're doing reclaimed wood on this wall and this wall and back over in here so they've got all of that going on once this reclaimed wood goes up on here then this product can get moved over there I think we're gonna turn that into a lighting area we're gonna change this and the whole idea of that the reclaimed wood here and here and going back that way will pull into some of the reclaimed wood that's back in the fish area and I think next year we'll actually end up doing this wood floor all the way through in here too which will help kind of lead back into that way say hi to Jillian Hello. <laughs> she helps a lot with the visions of this place too and so she's really important but here's the two men in charge Kyle Garth Garth Kyle <laughs> one of the main reasons they're out here they came out here when did you meet with us gosh it was like two months three months ago they came in and helped with Tim Woods build back there in the sandbox and showed off a little bit with some of their carpentry skills which was probably a big mistake because now you're stuck here for a couple weeks <laughs> working on stuff here and if you ever need somebody to sweep this guy is I'm, bad I'm, ass I'm a master with a broom <laughs> <laughs> but the project they're working on now is something that Greg's been wanting done for quite some time and they're framing out Woody's tank and so we've got some really cool windows in here and they're gonna trick it all out with some reclaimed wood and some planting areas you can see they've got it all framed out already so we got a big viewing window going over here a small one over there we've got a lift up lid to get down into the filter a wrap around window here plants are gonna sit up on top it's just gonna completely change the way this all looks the idea
idea is to make it look more like it's a piece of furniture, not just a tank sitting there. And so that's gonna look incredible. So these guys are pretty busy. Timberworks, and what's the other Modern company name? Modern Concept, out of Ohio. Out of Ohio. So they flew out for us, or not flew out, they drove out for us to come out here. But if you're lucky enough to be in Ohio, these guys do some incredible, incredible work. Showing me some of their stuff. They have an awesome portfolio. And if you don't get a chance to go to Ohio, come here and see it for yourself. Right there, Kyle? Come to Ohio. That? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll keep you guys updated as progress happens. So stick with us, enjoy the journey, and you're gonna see how crazy this transforms the entire space here at Aqualand. And please come, come, come and see it. All of this has gotta be done by May 15th for our Water Garden Weekend Sale where we sell fish and plants and discontinued pumps and filters and all that kind of stuff. So if you're in the area, come check out the work that Kyle and Garth from Timberworks are doing and tell us what you think. If not, you can see it on the video. Bye. I'm guessing you didn't like the story wall. Uh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I need this wall. Oh. Jillian is our interior designer. Oh. Construction maintenance coordinator, director of first impressions. Something like, you know, that. something like that. She's extremely helpful here in the retail store. She's definitely got an eye for design and kind of a strong opinion sometimes too, but strong opinion is better than no opinion. And so we're just kind of prepping this wall, getting this down, because all that reclaimed lumber is gonna come in through here. Some new shelving is gonna come in and we're gonna turn this whole section into our lighting display. Lots of big stuff gonna happen getting all ready for that sale on the 15th. It's spring sale time. It's finally the day, and it's amazing how much work has been done to get to this point. Kyle and Garth from Timberworks Modern Concepts did an amazing job getting things ready. They've been working here for, feels like three weeks, and I'm pretty sure it was pretty close to that total amount of time. They've got so much stuff done around here. I just wanna show you how incredible this place looks and how different it looks from before. If you look behind me, you can see Woody's enclosure. They had the genius idea of turning Woody's enclosure if you can remember what it looked like before, it was just a big giant tank. Now it looks like a big cargo shipping tank. And so it just looks so cool. Left a little spot for plants. We're missing that section. If we come around the side over here, you can see there he is. Woody is a giant alligator snapping turtle. There's actually some, there's a smallmouth bass <laughs> sitting in there. I think there's a couple other fish swimming around in there, but such an awesome enclosure. They did that. They built this cabinet so you can get in to get to the filter systems. They added some whiskey barrels that we can stage stuff on top of. If we come this way, not only did they do this shelving over here, but they painted the hallway, did this really cool shelving, burnt all this stuff, then kept with the theme in my office with the gas pipe as the supports. Now we have a spot to put all of our lighting. They did this pallet wood and stained it different colors. And so that kind of wraps around. And the reason I love this so much is that area back in there was never super inviting. Now with this all painted the same color with the pallet wood pulling you back there towards the fish window, it really invites you to come back into this space. And as we move into this space, the thing you'll notice right away is the giant pergola that went up over the top of everything. It really helps lower the ceiling quite a bit. More importantly, allows us to put lights shining down into the fish area. So now these fish really, really show off well. And there's some incredible Japanese koi in here. They just look so amazing. So they did that. They added some new doors for us. They redid the countertops. And the countertops look insane. They're so awesome. So new countertops all the way around. The old ones were warping a little bit. This one was dangerous to actually even sit on. Now these things are super solid. Their craftsmanship is incredible. Everything's notched in. Everything's sanded down nice and smooth. They come around this way. See where they added some more doors over here. And these giant sliding barn doors just kind of match with everything else that we've got around the building. Now we can close it off. It used to be just a piece of fabric that came down. They painted the back wall. That used to be all fabric to block off the yellow. So they painted this, they painted that. It just looks insane. It's so nice looking. So hopefully all these customers that are outside are gonna enjoy it as much as we all do. This year with COVID, things have changed a little bit. We've moved fish outside, we have fish inside. We have half the amount of product that we normally do 
outdoors, but it's a huge gallant effort by so many people. And I'm gonna introduce you to a couple of them. These are the people behind the scenes. Say hi. Hi. Wait, now say hi. Hi. There you go. Jillian, Amanda, even this young man helps out here and there. But without Jillian, Amanda, that lady back there who, Diana. <laughs> who stopped being great assistant and said, this is way more important, yeah. came through. And Jenna's around here someplace too. It'll be amazing. Hey, there's another guy I want you to be introduced to. It's this guy right here. Woo! Flew in last night, came back from build San Diego. A, build a pod because you had to stay here and work. <laughs> I took over your job and built it for Sarah Bendrick out there with a bunch of certified aquascapes contractors. A good old fashioned build a pond day. And now we're getting to a good old fashioned water garden weekend, which is now our spring, spring sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Greg, what's your favorite part about spring sale? Seeing all the customers and all the enthusiastic hobbyists, just like I was, I would have loved something like this when I was a kid. And that's why I love to say I love my So, job. Greg, about an hour and a half ago, the line started. You want to go outside and see what the line looks like? There's, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be, people are going to be disappointed. We have nothing to sell. <laughs> We're sold out of everything. Well, we sold, uh, last night was fun. Last night we do a VIP event. And oh, that was fun. And we sold a bunch of fish and stuff like that. If you ever want to get on our VIP event, have us install a pond for you. Oh my God. Yeah, so normally, but, look at, look at, I love all the people with the carts. Right? <laughs> but normally it is that all these filled with product, but we're sold out of everything because it's 2021. We have nothing in stock. Where's the frog and where's the YouTube van? I'm not sure. I think it's on the side, but we've got customers. Hey, wave everybody. Hey! <laughs> this is good because we don't have a lot of stuff to sell, so you guys are going to get it all. <laughs> and at least they get to park close this year. <laughs> so you can see Jenna over here. Let me introduce you to Jenna. Jenna is a huge help. Say hi, Jenna. Hey! She never stops working. Even when she has helpers, she's doing all the work. <laughs> Here's some of the product, some discontinued stuff, lots of discontinued. We've got plants all over the place. Steve Stroop has come in, repot lilies for us. You can pick up your water lilies over here, and for 20 bucks more, he puts it in some magic soil and repots them in giant containers so your lilies can grow to their fullest potential. But if we come and look over here, we got all kinds of aquatic plants. Tons and tons, and all of this will be gone by the end of the day, which is kind of crazy. So I got a couple other things I need to do. I'll probably be bouncing around all day today. There's about 40 of us here helping all the customers, and I'll probably be in the fish area. Love selling the fish, love helping customers pick out the perfect piece of art for their pond, and so I'll be over in there, but I'll make sure I'll show you guys some of the action that happens throughout the day. Hang on. <laughs> There's our Pied Piper over there. <laughs> so the line goes all the way to the end of the parking garage down there. All these people are here to get fish and plants. Greg's going to do his famous clap and we're going to greet these people the only way Greg knows how. <laughs> 